channel so from today's session i am going to upload the sessions on java programming so in today's session let us see the basic introduction to java so that means the basic terminologies used in java programming and how the program is executed so let us see the basic terminologies so here the software used to execute this java applications is jdk so jdk is nothing but java development kit and this jdk consists of two things one is the normal compiler java compiler and another one is j r e that is java runtime environment right so after writing the program this java compiler will compile the java program and it will produce dot class file or we can say it as byte code right after compilation of java program we will get this byte code and this byte code will be given to this jr so jr again consists of jvm that is java virtual machine right so whereas coming to the c language the program after compilation of this program the object code will be generated and that object code directly will be given to the operating system for execution here the once the byte code has been generated this byte byte code will be given to this jvm not to the operating system so this jvm is the operating system dependent that means each operating system will be having their own J java virtual machines right so this can be different from windows operating system linux operating system or a mac operating system but the output produced from all the all the different operating systems will be same so that's why we call this java programming as platform dependent right so this jvm is a operating system dependent so it depends upon the operating system whether it may be a windows or linux or mac mac os right so this byte code will be given as input to this one jvm so this produces the output the jvm will give this byte code execute this byte code in the operating system and then it will produce the output right so this is the actual process done while executing the java program right first this jdk is a java development kit it consists of two parts the compiler one compiler and java runtime environment so all the executions will be done in the jre that means jvm by means of jvm java virtual machine and compiler will compile the java file and it produces the dot class file so here the file extension for java is dot java so after compilation after compilation we will get dot class that is a byte code this will be given to jvm it will produces the output oh. right so for compiling this java program we will use java c space file name dot java so after executing this statement java c file name dot java if there are no syntactical errors automatically the class file will be generated that means byte code will be generated so how to execute this byte code
internally this byte code will be given to java jvm but here by for execution we have to implement just java space file name so here we need not give the dot extension because it is a byte code it's a byte code right so we need not give dot java extension in the while executing the file java file so this is for compilation this is for execution next so before writing the program and before uh, executing these applications first of all we have to set the path so from from anywhere from the system we can execute the java programs only if we set the path so how to set the class path so i will tell you this how to set the path set class path so how to set this path go to the command prompt go to the command prompt after going to the command prompt write the instruction set path is equal to double quotes so write down the location where the java has been installed in your system let it be c c drive program files slash java slash jdk some version 1.8 slash bin so if you write this path i mean this is the location where the java has been installed in our system right so by typing this line the path will be set and we can execute the java programs from anywhere in the system so the alternate way to set the path is this is a one way the second way is go to the system properties go to the system properties here click on environment variables environment variables in the environment variables click on user variables here click on new button there you can see variable name and the text box similarly variable value and the text box so in the name you just type path and variable value type the location where the java has been installed see this one this one should be sorry no double quotes this one should be paste here copied here right so this is the alternate way to set the class path one is by using the command prompt another one using graphical user that means going to the system properties and all these things so hope you understood the basic terminology right so jdk development kit next jre runtime environment jvm java virtual machine byte code right so jdk so compiler plus this is the jdk hope you understood now in the jdk compiler plus jre in the jre there will be jvm so this is the basic introduction to java so let us stop here hope you understood this one simple terminologies of Uh, java so how to execute the programs java programs how to set the class path so if you really understood my videos like my videos share my videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much